welcome to a new vlog. Today is Thursday. Just cooking up some lunch. This has got to be one of my most random ones. Um, so there's not really much to show you actually because we literally have almost nothing in our fridge right now. But I'm just kind of, I try to do a carb, some kind of veg, usually it's green, today it's not, and some kind of protein. So um, this is a good part. Truffle salami, so good. Having some of that while I wait because I'm starving. And I'm doing up a little bit of these little nugget potatoes. They're like large hash brown pieces that are seasoned and parboiled already, so they're really quick to cook up. Um, some mushrooms. I love mushrooms, so I eat them with lunch because Ken hates mushrooms. And a boiled egg. That's my protein because that's literally all we have. Oh, and a cracker. I'm going to put the boiled egg on a cracker with some salt and pepper. I'm very brightly colored today. Ken said I look like a 60s girl, just kind of the look I was going for. I love this like sage green with a hot pink puffy hand headband. I'm kind of putting good vibes out for nicer weather because it wasn't great this morning, although it looks like it's working because we now have blue skies. You can't see that versus the uh, rain clouds on that side. So I think it's working. <laughs> there has been a bird on our deck though. I actually saw the culprit. I saw the criminal this morning. It was actually a very beautiful bird. God, what am I doing here? The lighting is going crazy. He actually matched our carpet back here. He was like blue, brown, taupey kind of colors. Big, big bird. We don't have those back home in Canada. And we see them once in a while in our patio. He was out there this morning and now our patio table, can you see that? The ta patio table and chair are covered in dirt. So he's been digging in my planters, looking for a little feast. I don't think he really would have found anything in there, but um, made a little mess. That's all right, he's awfully cute. <laughs> but the reason I started a vlog is because tomorrow should be an exciting day. Probably bring my mushrooms here. So our friend with the boat has said, let's do a boat day. He's invited quite a few people on the boat, I think. Who knows if everyone will show up, but that's the plan for now. So if that doesn't happen, we have a plan B to go over to the park and get the uh, little three euro portable, disposable barbecue. Just do that with the two of us if the boat doesn't work out. But I'm praying the boat does work out because that would be really fun to vlog and take you out with us. If the weather's nice, if it's pouring, maybe not so much. <laughs> Show you my little outfit. Did not iron very well. Little thrifted dress and this doesn't look very good. Need to fix this. Nope, don't like it. Oh, I'm hot. I worked out for the first time in forever today and my body just can't regulate anymore. There we are, not my most beautiful meal, but it'll keep me full. It's gonna be satisfying with all those little potatoes. Yum. Would be a little more pretty with something green on top of it, but that'll do. Lori Chad while she was in prison and gave police the look. Oh, hello. Oh, this headband does not want to stay in place. It's kind of driving me nuts. I have just been sitting here editing the video you would have seen two videos ago, the one we went to the pub. That was fun, but now I'm really wanting beer and nachos again. So I think I'm gonna post that today. So there's two vlogs in one week. If you missed missed one, go back a couple. Uh, so now I'm just waiting for that to export. And now I'm just working on my links. There's only a few for this video, which is nice because links take more time than I like. It's my least favorite thing to do when making these videos, but I always get annoyed when I'm interested in something or I want to know where something's from and there's nothing in the description box. It is a little bit annoying, so I'm gonna get that done. Lord, I think I'm just gonna end up putting my hair in a top knot or something. On that video to upload so I thought I would try on a dress that has always been a little bit tight but it did fit just to see how bad quarantine has really been to me it's probably really really depressing but this is kind of how I gauge things I do weigh myself once in a while <laughs> but 
trying on all my clothes is how I like really know what's going on. So let's see. <laughs> oh, and I just cracked the zipper. That's not good. It's not a good start. <laughs> Okay, it's on, it fits. It's just always been a little bit tight here. I wish I got the medium in this, this is the small. It's still really cute though, but it's just a little bit uncomfortable. It doesn't have quite enough stretch right here. I think this actually might still be available on the uh, website if you want to. Well, I like it with the pink too. I'll try to put a link down below, but yeah, I think it fits oh, about the same, it's a little uncomfortable. Say Livy. We also just ordered a bunch of Indian for dinner. We we're actually gonna just order one meal and split it. Oh, it look really shiny. But I'm always afraid we won't have enough foods. So ended up ordering another little chicken appetizer thing to have on the side. It's gonna be a lot of food. I'm always super uncomfortable when we order Indian foods, a favorite of mine. Um, so I always, always overeat. This dress absolutely will not fit <laughs> after eating an Indian dinner, but that's okay. It's gonna be delicious. Check back in with you in maybe a month. <laughs> See how you fit then. Just stay there, be good. Don't get any smaller. <laughs> oh baby, I feel like all my vlogs are about ordering food and drinking beer now, but. That's all right with me. Yeah. Creepy voice for the Indian food. Uh oh, we were gonna go sit on a patio. Oh my god. Oh. Look at that, isn't that crazy? It looks like Twister. Yeah, it goes for a while too. Yikes. I'm actually surprised. Looks there's fake. Clear sky back there, so maybe it's gonna miss us. No more patio. Maybe it is just gonna miss us. Ominous. Yeah. Still no rain. I know, it's so dark. <laughs> Time to throw some lights on. Wait for the rain to set in. It's crazy. It's, this is like how dark it is at 10.30 at night usually. straighten this mane out. I've got my Karen hair in today. I put it in a bun to kind of give it, find its shape again, because I kind of lost my curl overnight. Had it in a messy, messy bun, too messy of a bun, but I think it'd be fine. I have to stop telling you what our plans are supposed to be or what I think our plans are supposed to be. That's how my head works. I like to make plans, but every time I say it on the vlog, it changes. So I need to stop doing that because it's probably really annoying to me tell you what we're doing and then we don't do it. Um, so yeah, gonna try to stop doing that. I'm annoying myself. <laughs> it is Friday. 
The boys have a bit of a free day, although they're all workaholics, so they were still working. <laughs> we're into the evening now. I think it's about five. Ooh. One o'clock. I've been editing all afternoon. I had leftover Indian for lunch. It was so good. That welt I had on my face has gone down. That, I just, oh, my makeup looks like I've been punched in the face here. <laughs> Need to blend a little bit more, I think. Uh, but that was just a result of my sensitive skin. You can still see where it was, but you never know. I have no idea what that was. It wasn't a bite or anything. I just get these welts on my face sometimes from hot water from the shower, if a little hair tickles me, like a fluff from the towel from drying off gets stuck on my face, my face will react to it, it's weird. It doesn't happen that often, but it, it's annoying when it does happen, because if I touch it, it just gets bigger and bigger, the red spot spreads and spreads, but if I don't touch it and I just keep it cold, then it tends to just fade away pretty quickly, thankfully. Yeah, so Ken has just gone out to get us some burger fixings. Veggie burger for me. Ken's gonna have a beef burger. Just like simple home style burgers tonight. Pretty exciting. We were planning to have a day on the boat, but this morning again, it was like black skies and lots of rain on and off. It would rain really hard for like 20, 30 seconds, a minute, and then nothing again for like an hour and then it would pour again. So we were hoping to actually go all the way up to the Amstel and kind of float down south somewhere. So north farther south somewhere. I'm doing it again. I don't even know if we're gonna go on the boat. Who knows, maybe not, but we'll keep you posted. <laughs> Did I say this already? I've been editing all afternoon. I can't remember if I said that. So last Saturday's vlog is in the works. Lots of Amsterdam footage, um, outfit stuff. I cut Ken's hair, which was fun. If you already saw that vlog, then you know what happened with that wasn't exactly a success, let's say that. So anyways, I'm gonna finish this up and we'll see what we get up to for this evening. Probably will involve food and beer. Peace and quiet again. Oh my God, there's construction happening. Now on the front side of the building for almost the whole time we've lived here, there's been construction on the back side. Now they've started on the front side of another building over here and they have what it, I think it's a generator or something they have going all day. It sounds like a broken down power washer or something. It is so loud. Even when it's going with all their windows closed and we have double pane windows, it's super loud and it's getting hot in here. So we want to open up our windows, but you can't even hear yourself think when the windows open. It's, I'm, I'm hoping they're not going to be there forever, but. So nice out now. I hope Mo is around to take us out on that boat. Oh, it's nice. I can hear my video again. <laughs> Beef jalapeno burger. All right. And my very strange looking veggie patties. I've had these a few times now. I do like them, but they look super weird. <laughs> oh. Jalapeno burger, $2.99 for two patties. Little snack size M&Ms too. <sighs> the forever struggle of trying to not eat everything. So these are the burgers. They smell horrible when you put them in the pan. Like fresh out of here, they smell like literal animal food. Like wet, dog. wet dog food, yeah, it smells disgusting. <laughs> it smells like Chico's food. So we were very um, apprehensive while cooking that first batch. But if you cook them for a while, um, and then we added a piece of cheese on top, and I really liked it. Ken didn't mind it either. They no longer taste like dog food once they're actually cooked through. And they actually look kind of like meat, not like a standard, you know, veggie burger. So this is my third package I think I bought of them. I really like them. Sometimes I eat them just for lunch too, and I just grill them up, no bun, with a salad. I keep meaning to try the Beyond Meat ones, but they're a little more expensive than these, so I just keep getting the same ones. Ah, I got my husband cooking burgers. I'll just hang out here. <laughs> mm. Ken's making fun of me. He says I'm being demanding. Cook me dinner, grow an extra arm. The door just closed on me. Don't you dare lock that. Princesses don't sleep on the deck. Ah, what a beautiful...
beautiful day. You don't want onion on yours? I do. Yeah. Big gulps, huh? All right. Well, see you later. <laughs> hey, guys. Oh, big gulps, huh? All right. Well, see you later. Can you hear the bells? Hopefully you can hear that. Yeah. So pretty. Guinness. I used to hate Guinness. It literally tasted like I was chewing on old cigarettes, but now I love it. It's weird how that happens. Michael Scott. No. <laughs> yeah. Closer. Yeah. Like that? No. No. I don't think there was so much spinning. Maybe there was more stepping. No. <laughs> <laughs> Heading over to the boat. It's gonna take us for a little evening cruise. So we've got my tote bag with a few beers. I fixed my hair. So it was just looking a little too sad for my liking. Ooh, sweater, sweater. Ah. <laughs> and it is a perfect evening for it. It's perfectly just the right amount of warmth. It's gonna be nice, all the flowers are out. People are sitting on the canals, drinking, it's lively. <sighs> this place really is a fairy tale land.
Thank you.